Welcome back. In previous videos, we discussed a PDF for a continuous random variable, and now we're going to use that PDF to calculate the expected value of a continuous random variable. So we discussed expectations in the context of discrete random variables before. So if we had x being discrete, and with PDF p sub x of k, then we could calculate the expected value of this discrete random variable by summing over every value of this random variable times its probability of seeing that value. Now we'll have a similar thing in the continuous case. So if x is a continuous random variable with PDF f sub x of x, then the expected value of x is going to be equal to the integral version of this. So we're going to integrate over negative infinity to infinity, and we're going to have x times its PDF, and we're going to integrate with respect to x. So this will be the expected value of x, assuming that this integral converges absolutely. All right, so let's do a couple examples to see how this works. So first, let's have x be a continuous random variable with the following PDF. It's going to be 3x squared whenever x is between 0 and 1 and 0 otherwise. So what this means is that when we integrate from negative infinity to infinity, since we would be integrating over 0 for anything outside of 0 to 1, then we can really just simplify this integral down to integrating over 0 to 1. All right, so we are going to rewrite this in the context of this problem here. So we're integrating from 0 to 1 because it's 0 otherwise. And then we have 3x squared times x. So our PDF is 3x squared whenever x is between 0 and 1. And then we have times x as this piece here. All right, now we just need to do a little bit of calculus. So this integral is equal to 3 quarters x to the 4. And we're going to evaluate that between 0 and 1. So that tells us that our expected value of x is 3 quarters. All right, next example. Uh, x has a uniform distribution. It's uniformly distributed between a and b. So here's a little picture for you. We have the value a, the value b, and x is uniformly distributed, so we're going to have a horizontal line here between a and b. And because we know that this has to integrate to 1, then that means that the height of this is 1 over b minus a. All right, so that's how we can get our PDF. Our PDF is going to be equal to 1 over b minus a whenever x is between a and b, and 0 otherwise. So let's set up our expected value for um, x here. So again, we're going to take this and incorporate this information. So um, since it's 0, our PDF is 0 whenever x is outside of the interval from a to b, then that means that we can simplify this integral down to um, integrating from a to b. So again, we take x times its PDF, so we have x times 1 over b minus a, and then integrate with respect to x. All right, do a little bit of calculus. We see this is equal to 1 half times x squared over b minus a, and we evaluate from a to b. So we go ahead and plug those in. We get b squared minus a squared divided by 2 times b minus a. Now, if we rewrite b squared minus a squared as b plus a times b minus a, we see that things are going to cancel out. So the b minus a's are going to cancel out, and that'll leave b plus a over 2. So b plus a over 2, that's the midpoint here. That's the midpoint between a and b. So because x is a random variable with a symmetric PDF, then uh, the expected value of x is just the midpoint of that PDF. 